Okay guys, today I'm gonna show you how to waterproof our RX-01D receiver with Plasti Dip. I've done this quite successfully and had no problems whatsoever. Now first thing you wanna do is remove your receiver from the, its casing. It's got little tabs on the side and you just pop it open. There's not much to break. Pop it open. And then you plug your servo lead in where it's supposed to be at the bottom. Then your ESC lead, you plug it in where it's supposed to be just above it. And you'll notice the brown wires are towards the outside just as when, it, when the receiver casing is together. Now, what I've done, you don't wanna, you don't wanna plastic dip the, the antenna. It won't hurt it, but it's, it's just not good looking. It's not good for it. So what I've done is I've put an antenna tube over the antenna and taped it here and I'm gonna also gonna tape from here from here back off because we're gonna be spraying the receiver plugs the pins and everything because you're probably not gonna be using those other two channels or the battery because most everything has BEC that would dedicate this receiver to this boat but it's really good for the mini Dom because this is a feather light situation and the mini Dom is very weight sensitive and what I'm using here is Plasti Dip. There are other brands, but this is what I've used, and so this is what I'm gonna show you. I see here, I've used packing tape to mask it off, but there are better masking tapes to be used. But when you spray it, it's gonna still have to be attached to the boat because it's plugged in. But you can also wrap paper towels around the boat or tape it off in a way to make sure you don't get any Plasti Dip spray on the boat itself. Now this Plasti Dip, and just about anything in an aerosol can, wants to be shaken vigorously for a, a while. Give it at least, it, it seems nuts, but give it at least 30 seconds to a minute. I'd give it a minute plus of just shaking and shaking it and turning it and shaking it and getting it mixed really well. So we use the white version. And as you can see, the first coat isn't gonna get you there, but you wanna coat everything. Bottom, the sides, the pins, everything. You even wanna coat inside there. You want to get all of the plugs, everything. But this is our first coat. We're going to let it dry and give it a couple more coats. We'll give it about 30 minutes to dry. So I've hit it with a second coat now. I actually only waited about 15 minutes between coats. As you can see, it's starting to get turn white. We're going to give it another 15, 20 minutes to dry and hit it with another coat. We'll do it in total probably four coats, but we'll see how it co covers. Okay, now you see after five coats, this baby is rubberized, fully coated. Now we're gonna let this cure for four hours and then peel the, the tape off and mount it. Okay, this thing is nice and cured now, all coated up. Now it's time for some double-sided tape. Okay, now that all the mask is removed, everything's cured. I put double-sided tape on the back of it and I'm gonna install it back here. This, this line was a little short, like this wire. I don't know if you people have seen this. All I did was take the ESC, untape it, and move it back a little bit. Now everything fits great. Okay, here she is. ESC moved back, all mounted in there, antenna mounted. She sure looks nice in there. She shaved some weight from the casing. Now it's completely waterproof. You never have to worry about it. And this thing is race ready. It's ready, and it's bash ready. It's ready to just have a great time out there. Worry-free and reliable because the ESC is completely waterproof. Now your receiver is completely waterproof and a brushless motor will run underwater. So yeah, there you have it. You just put a little double-sided tape on the back and went to town.